All right, YouTubers. Um, I'm going to do a quick review of this little toy from Radio Shack. This is called the Hoverbot Light Up UFO. Here you can see the box. Um, it says here, easy to fly, portable charging, up, down, hover. So it doesn't do a lot. I think it just goes up in the air and you can change the height. Um, here's the side of the box. Infrared remote, 25 foot control distance, fly up to three hover bots, built in charging plug. <laughs> um, here's the back of the box, radio shack. You can kind of take a look to see what this looks like. Two and a half inches of cool, colorful fun, charges in about 30 minutes. I have already charged it up, it did not quite take 30 minutes. It took more like uh, about 22 minutes to charge. LED body, there's the, the back right there. Your hoverbot is an infrared pocket sized wonder. Ideal for lighting up the night. Easy to use with a one touch slide throttle control to take off, spin, hover, and delight. We shall see. All right, and then here's the other side here. Included in box, Hoverbot light up UFO remote control and spare rotor buckle two spare rotor buckles There's the bottom of the box. Whoops. Let's turn it this way Limited warranty And there's the top of the box, so let's go ahead and open this up real quick If I can get my beautiful assistant to help me So pull everything out and let's look, let's get the instructions and whatever else is in there out and just set it all on the, the sofa right there so we can look and see that everything is there. I see the hoverbot and the remote and then there's the two extra little uh, rotor buckles and the instructions. So it says charge hoverbot, I've already done that. And then fly hoverbot. Place hoverbot on a level surface in a clear open space. Set the multiple band switch to any of the band settings A, B, or C. Turn on the hoverbot, the remote LED, and hoverbot lights up. Okay. So why don't we turn this thing on? Let's go set it on the table over here, shall we? Okay. Let's bring it to the table. Set it right there on the table. Um, turn the remote to setting A. Allie, will you please turn the hoverbot on? Yes. There's a little on off switch on there. Okay, it's on. So let's set it down. There we go. Now it says slowly move the throttle uh, up. And oh wait, no, it only says slowly slide the up down throttle switch all the way up, then slowly down to pair. All the way up, and then slowly down to pair it. All right, it's paired. Okay, so we decided to come outside and do this uh, just in case I run into the, uh, I don't want to run into the ceiling or anything like that. I'm going to switch it on. So it's on now, and we're just going to launch it. I'm going to pair it real quick by pushing up and down. All right, so I've done that, and now I'm going to start it. Okay, so I'm getting no response. Oh, there we go. Wow. That just took off. The wind is oh, strong wind. Strong wind right now. Alright, so this might have been a bad idea. Alright, we're gonna run into something.
All right, so we're going to try this uh, again inside the house here because it was too windy outside. It was just being blown all over the place. So. Very sensitive controls. You want to go up and down. Try it again. So there we go, there's the hover box. Um. We'll try it one more time. Try to just be slow about it. There it is, hovering. <laughs> When it goes down, I need to push up just a little bit. If it starts going up too quickly, I need to come down. But it's small, very, very small movements. I mean, like a millimeter at a time. All right. That's the Hoverbot from Radio Shack. It's a pretty cool little toy. It's fun, uh, but it does take a little bit of skill, and I don't really have that yet. So. <laughs>